beautiful platinum skinned Winnebago Micro Mini 2106 FBS here at Haled RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the non-Murphy bed sister to the 2106 uh, FB, I think it is, something like that. Long story short, it's uh, 3,780 pounds, easily half ton towable, potentially SUV towable with the right tow packages and right vehicle, and it's a Winnebago. It's not an RV, it's a Winnebago, and what I mean by that is there are other trailers out there that have a real similar look, similar layout. It is the material selection, the fit and finish, the craftsmanship that separates this uh, from the, uh, the other guys down the road. What I mean by that, if you start looking at something like this, you see this true high gloss exterior here. I mean a literal mirror-like finish on that. Um, the, uh, this is a true T60 gel coat fiberglass. There are exactly zero other manufacturers in this class, in this price point, using a true gel coat. If you are real freaking lucky, you might find a guy using a high gloss fiberglass, which is not the same thing. There's nothing wrong with Phylon, there's nothing wrong with high glass, gloss fiberglass. This is just a superior product. It has a superior look. It has, I, I look at it and it has that old Adam West Batman sort of pow, bang, whap sort of, you know, burst effect on it. It just jumps right out at you. Because when you are just, you know, looking around at all the other trailers, then you see this thing. And it's just, it's like the difference between uh, low speed internet and high speed or, or you know, a VHS versus a, a high def DVD or something. It just jumps out at you. Now, uh, you're going to see things too, like bigger windows in here. The windows are going to be jealousy style, so you can open them and use them in the rain for maximum airflow. Um, you're going to see big pass-through storage compartments on this thing, which is a really welcome sight. They have great storage on here, and a lot of these uh, smaller couples campers do not have that. This is uh, a narrow body, seven and a half wide coach. What that means is it's going to be easier towing because it is no wider than your vehicle, so you won't get uh, brutal headwinds. I mean, there's always going to be a measure of that anytime you're towing any trailer, but uh, it won't be quite as severe, and uh, the narrow body nature makes it a lot easier to see around when you're going down the road because you can change lanes more easily. It's also easier to park as a result, and it, that's that's what keeps it, you know, probably the difference between 3,780 pounds like we see here and 4,280 on a standard body coach. It does make that much of a difference. Part of the weight savings, though, is also the different frame. You can kind of see the seal right here. That may not mean much to you, but the uh, that is essentially an aircraft-style frame. It's made... It's a Z chassis, not an I-beam. Um, it's made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. Basically higher steel content, lower weak stuff. So that the, the frame is lighter, stronger. It's not the cheapest frame on the market. It is the best though. Um, battery disconnect switch over here is no small thing. A lot of little trailers don't have those. When uh, you are storing your RV, things like your water heater, your refrigerator, all that stuff. They have circuit boards that go into standby. They go into low power mode, not no power mode. The difference is, um, the uh, with a battery disconnect, you can hard kill all that stuff so it doesn't sap your battery dry even when it's in storage and you're not using it. I can't even count how many people say, well, I came back to my camper two months later and the battery was dead. Yep. That makes sense, you know? Unless you go out and unhook the lead off the battery, that's going to happen. Um, aluminum wheel package is an option we put on here. By the way, the fiberglass skin, you have a choice between platinum, white, red, blue, champagne, five different exterior skin colors, and three or four interior decors. Give this more options in how it can look than almost anything else on the market. They are very, very flexible in how you want this thing to look. We'll generally keep a couple different colors because not everybody's gonna like platinum. Not everybody's gonna like a really bold red, you know, that's a very, very polarizing uh, color situation. Either love it or hate it. So we like to give you an A, B choice, a hard edge and a soft edge either way. Now what is cool is they'll put little color accents in your aluminum wheels down here so that it always complements the skins that we're looking at. Neat little thing. You don't even see this on a lot of high-level fifth wheels. Separate hookups for cable and satellite. Usually, you only get one hookup. That's a neat thing. This has a black tank flush on it so you can keep your, your tanks and systems clean. Nice stuff from high-level products that you're seeing on a small SUV towable lightweight. And what's incredible is they are right in the pocket or cheaper than a lot of the other lightweights that uh, you can find out there, including the other ones here on our lot. That's been the thing that's amazed a lot of people. They see this name, they go, oh, buddy. I can't afford a Winnebago. Don't even waste my time. And then they look at it, and we deal on a very fair, high volume basis. If you're just on YouTube, there's a link down here that says click for price and availability. Do so. 
that'll take you to our site. If we have one in stock, we'll tell you how much this one is with its complement of equipment. I can't tell you just in a quick video here because the next one we have in stock might be built different, so the price might not be the same. Uh, we do like to upgrade these with a power awning, and in doing so, you do gain the LED lights under the awning as well. But notice that is a max length awning. If the awning was any bigger, it could either hang off the back of the trailer or it would block that window, and that would be stupid. <laughs> um, oh, also. Neat little galvanized steel wheel wells. I think that's an awesome feature because if these belted radials give up the ghosts going down the road and they start smacking around, they would just bust up through cheap woodwork. Well, a steel skin under here gives you a layer of protection to help prevent that from happening. We also like to put the bigger handle on these more often than not, but again, that is an option. And in a small camper, single, uh, or pardon me, narrow body little trailers often have single steps. This has the double like you see because you know, not everybody's got mountain climber legs like me. It's just not always easy for everybody to get in and out. This decor with the lighter leather tones is called Mamba. I like to point that out because, again, not every trailer that we carry is going to have the exact same interior decor on it. So I like you guys to kind of see the difference. Um, Mamba is a, a lighter leatherette, and you will have uh, little dark leather accents here and there, so you've got a, a cool little light dark contrast. I think it fits in perfectly into this segment because it matches the bedspread in just perfect fashion. Um, so this is a, a little sofa slide out, perfect little couples camper. Now with big windows and all LED lights and lighter uh, leatherette tones, we complement that even further because these micro minis have a, just an off white wood tone and that's gonna really help brighten it up in here. This little camper never feels so little. And these are real wood tones. You know, they're not uh, cheap or particle board. They're screwed together, not stapled together. I'm mentioning these types of seemingly boring things because most trailers in this class do not have real wood slide fascia. Most trailers in this class have staple cabinetry. These are exceptional areas in this class. And that's, again, it's a Winnebago. It's not everybody's camper. It's it's the best that it's it can be in this size. The fit and the finish is just flawless and seamless everywhere in here. Always is. They, they do just the closest to perfect job I could ever imagine. I don't personally believe there's any such thing as the perfect camper anywhere on anyone's lot. Mine, theirs, otherwise but I think that this is as close as you can reasonably get. Central air in a 21 foot narrow body lightweight, usually not found. Normally you get non-centralized AC. Here in the living room, that doesn't make as much of a difference. In a rear private bathroom, it does. Now, they give you a, bang a bigger hanging closet over here with a, a wide open um, like CPAP stand or like phone charging device station over here. And they even complement that with just the biggest drawer they possibly could. They left no inch unturned. A lot of little campers don't have overhead storage above the bed. This one does. A lot of little campers don't have an extra vent above the bed. This one does. They also have a, a really, really nice mattress under here. It's about 50% thicker than what you normally find in the RV business. It's one of the very few I don't think I would bother replacing. It's fine. It's just fine how it is. Now you've got some extra storage above above the uh, sofa in the slide there. So once again, no space left unused. Uh, we've added the DVD player um, with uh, that complements the all-in-one entertainment system. So it's AM, FM, CD, DVD, everything. Just does everything. Sofa can jackknife down into an extra sleeper as required. Now I've left this open so you can kind of get an idea of the size, but behind the sofa stows a, uh, a little folding leg table that you see right there. So if you uh, do want to sit down and have dinner, Perfect spot to do it right there. Now, what's interesting is sitting at the edge of the bed actually gives you the perfect view of the television. So it kind of makes, that table makes a perfect TV stand or take it outside and use it like a picnic table. Because it's folding legs, it folds down almost flat. You can take it anywhere. For a little trailer, we've got pretty good storage in here. We've done some upgrades to the kitchen space here. Um, you would always find the good uh, cabinet and drawer space. You've got, again, lots of good drawer space. It's all plywood constructed. They have outlets so that you can actually run your appliances. They've got big compartments anywhere that they possibly could. We upgraded from just a two burner stovetop to the full stove and oven. The reason we do that is that includes the folding stove cover here. So you're going to pick up some countertop space that you otherwise just wouldn't have and frankly I really feel like you need and in a little trailer you need every ounce of help you can get. We've also upgraded to the full two-door refrigerator freezer, a six cubic foot instead of a five. That does mean that we lose a little shelf overhead but you're gaining cold storage and we generally feel that's going to trump anything else. 
Good rear bathroom, really does. So first of all, we've got a big shower. This is a big fella shower, or big girl, depends. And uh, you can see it, it really tucks back in that corner. It's a very big shower, and they even radius the curtain so that it, you get more elbow room in here. Now, um, this is a foot flush stool with lots of foot room in front of it, so you're not gonna have to bash your knees uh, you know, into the door or do some weird twist them up bathroom yoga type situation to just, you know, use the toilet. That's not going to be a problem. Um, it's so big, I mean, to give you an idea, I can stand here in the shower. Now, it is a little short for me to try to stand all the way up. I'm a big guy, I'm 6'3", but again, it's a small, lightweight trailer. You're gonna have to expect a measure of that. Even in the bathroom, we're using stainless sinks. I like that they have the extra outlets right here down below the countertop level where it's going to be a lot harder for water to try to get there. And just awesome storage. That extra closet right there is worth its weight in gold. It really is. I don't know how much gold is worth per pound, but that's how much that shower's worth. <laughs> so give us a call. 800-256-5196. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone.